we're getting ready to make some summer sausage and we'll be making it jalapeno cheddar summer sausage. Now we'll get these sliced in two and remove the seeds and membrane out of it and then we're just going to dice it up. It's going to make a little over a half a cup I believe. And we'll speed it up, get through the dicing up of these jalapenos. And when we get the sausage casing stuffed and we place them in the smoker, we're going to monitor the internal temperature using the meat stick and the meat stick mini. And our sausage is going to be made from rib trimmings and then some uh, lean ground beef. And we're going to be using some aged cheddar and this is seven ounces. It is aged cheddar and it tastes delicious. I didn't want to order a, a bag of cheese, the high heat cheese that they sell. Uh, I didn't need that much. I don't make that much at a time. So I found this, done a little research and found this and I'm going to try it. I don't know if anybody's ever used this in their summer sausage. I thought I'd give it a try and see how it comes out. This makes quite a bit of uh, diced up cheese. It's uh, it doesn't look like it's real big, but it, it makes quite a bit and it covers my, and I'm only putting it in five pounds of summer sausage, so it went through there just fine. Now I have these ready. I'm going to cover them here and I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. Now it's time for our rib trimmings and we're going to start uh, grinding this up. It's a little over three pounds. I think it was three point two pounds somewhere along there. Oh, this is going through that meat grinder really good. The meat was really chilled good and the grinding head was chilled. Uh, this is going through with a breeze and when I'm grinding it like this, I, I don't have to use the pusher. I mean, it just takes it. Now we're adding the beef. Now this is some pretty lean beef. Oh, it's going to make it fantastic. It's pretty cold too. It's uh, trying to break it up. It's kind of frozen together just a little bit there. And this is around two pounds, a little over. Uh, give me a little over five pounds. Now you'll be able to tell the beef from the pork. It'll be in there together in this tub. Uh, the beef is really red. And this is backwood summer, uh, summer sausage seasoning that I use. I like it. It comes with everything you need and it also has the pink curing salt to put in there. It's measured out for five pounds. You can get one for five pounds, 10 pounds, I think, and 25 pounds. And the directions are on the back. This called for putting all the seasonings and the cure salt into five ounces of water, stirring it up, dissolving it the best we can. And we're gonna set it aside while we mix this beef and pork together now, get it ready. Well, we got the beef and pork well mixed I believe so we're going to add half of our seasoning mix in there and we'll work it and fold it and mix it by hand here and then we'll add the rest of it here and continue mixing it until it gets really good and tacky. And we added just a little bit of water to get the rest of that out of there. Now we're going to continue mixing it 
until we can get that pretty well incorporated all over in there. And then we're going to add our jalapenos and our cheese. Now we'll get these jalapenos mixed in fairly good. Then we'll add our cheese in there. Now it's time for the cheese. Oh, that is some good cheese. I'll tell you what, I'm going to buy some more of that. Now we continue to mix more and more. Fold it, push it, turn it, <laughs> whatever. But we'll get it, it'll get good and tacky here in a little bit. And this right here, that's what you want. I believe it is ready. We got our sausage casing soaking in the water. They've been soaking in there about 35, 45 minutes. Get the sausage stuffer loaded, the tank, and push down on it to get the air out. As I load it in there, I'll push down to remove the air. We get the casings on there, and we've already got the sausage coming close to the end there. So we'll fill these tubes. Now, each one of these tubes will hold one pound of sausage. We get it to the end, we twist the end, and we'll tie it off. And I have about a little over five pounds uh, of sausage, actually probably close to six that uh, what comes out of the elbow in that tube uh, I, I have to figure out a way I guess I could use bread or something but a way to push that out of there to uh, go ahead and finish that last bit because that that'll leave about a pound of that in that tube and elbow but we get it out and we make a, a loaf out of it a, a small loaf and we place it on the bottom rack. Well, we'll jump ahead here in just a short. I think we get five and a quarter tubes and then uh, the loaf we make and put on the bottom rack. Now, when we get these out there at the smoker, I'm gonna be using my meat stick and my meat stick mini to monitor the internal temperatures. Uh, we'll use the meat stick and the tubes in the center uh, one and then uh, the mini we're going to put it in the loaf and we'll monitor the internal temperature. Well we hadn't seen the meat sticks being used to make sausage so we thought we'd try it. Smoker set at 275 and these have been on there about an hour and 50 minutes somewhere along there. Now that's giving us our early warning. We're going for 165 internal on both of them. Hey and it says it's ready now so it took the loaf about another 10 minutes before it was ready but here it is I'm letting them come back down to room temperature and then we'll vacuum seal them and place them in the freezer. Look at this. This looks fantastic. Hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing.